things that could go wrong. Hello people of the internet, the like two people who are watching this. I'm Sarah and I really like reading and books and reading the books. That makes sense. Australia is in lockdown at the moment, so I've had some time up my sleeve and I decided on a whim to make a video about all the books I read in lockdown and I had a really fun time doing it. So I thought maybe I'm going to become a booktuber now. That sounds like a fun idea. So that's what I have decided to do. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tech because that's what you're meant to do when you first start your booktube channel, I think. According to my research, that's the thing that is done. So that's the thing that I'm going to do. Hello, this is about to edit Sarah. Coming to tell you that the lighting in this whole video is terrible. I'm really sorry, I don't know anything about lighting. I'm trying to use natural light. I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. So just ignore it. I'm really sorry. Question one, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because uh, Australia is in lockdown. We have been in this lockdown for a little bit and I've had lots of free time and I decided I wanted something fun to do so I made a video. I like books, I like reading and most of my friends don't like books to the same level that I do and they don't consume them as quickly as I do. So I need people to talk to about all the books I've read. Question number two, what are the fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I've been thinking about this question ever since I read it and my initial thought is, do I? I think the fun unique thing I bring is that reading is really just my hobby. I don't study it or anything at uni. I just do it for fun and so I'm hoping to bring some of those vibes to it from the perspective of someone who really doesn't know much from a critical standpoint academically just from what I did in high school and the own thoughts in my brain that bounce around when I read things. I'm a dancer. I don't study English at university or anything like that. I dance in a studio all day, every day. Three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? I'm just most excited to make videos and put them out into the world. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm so excited about it. Have something new to do that's very different from everything else in my life and hopefully will, you know, force me to grow as a person. I'm gonna pra have lots of practice talking to a camera, having to figure out angles and lighting and stuff and how to edit, which, yeah, I'm really excited to learn how to do all those things well and better and see how they improve with the videos. And because those are also skills that I need as a dancer because Video auditions are the thing now. Yeah, I think just making videos. I'm really excited about that. Question number four. Why do you love reading? This one, this is a big question. That's like asking why I love dance. You know, I have reasons, but at the end of the day, it's really hard to just say, yes, this is why. I've always loved reading. Um, my whole family is into reading, so a love of books was instilled in me from a very young age and I think it's just the escape into another world. I like being transported into new worlds, new stories, characters and just like seeing what happens. That's why Taffy loves reading. Oh my god, no. Question number five, what book or series got you into reading? Percy Jackson. I'm a Percy Jackson kid. I still love it too. So, I loved those books so much. I read them when I was quite young and I just reread them. I used to reread them like every year. Question number six What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Okay, first. 
first of all, how do you set up a good Goodreads account? Because I only use mine to track what books I'm reading, what books I want to read. And I don't know how to like do like book reviews or like ratings or like make a profile. And like, how, how does it work? Like, do you follow people like Instagram or something? Do you like invite them? I don't understand it. Can someone explain it to me? This question is for Joel from Fictional Fates. How do you have such nice backgrounds and such good nice bookshelves? It's so beautiful. It's for uh, Carly from Uncarly and Cindy from With Cindy now. How do you guys edit so good? Your videos are so well edited. And you have such good thumbnails too. How do you make them? So for Kat from Paperback Dreams, I, I also love Alice Oseman. After Radio Silence, what's your favorite Alice Oseman book? Because my favorite Alice Oseman book is Solitaire, which is really weird, I feel like, because I feel like that's not most people's favorite of hers, but that's my favorite one. I want to start reading poetry. What poetry should I read? Actually, that's for anyone who wants to answer that. Question number seven, what challenges with starting a booktube channel do you think will be hardest to overcome? Number one, the fear that someone from my real life will find my videos. So if you do know me in real life and you're watching this, uh, I think also, oh my God, I'm really stressed about like crediting people and stuff. Like this chat tag, I don't know who started this tag. Who am I meant to credit? But I think the hardest one for me is the fear that someone from my real life will find it. And also not having enough time once I hopefully go back to my normal life before lockdown. Question number eight, when did you start reading? When I was a small child. I don't know. I, I was confused what this question means, like it didn't mean when did you learn to read? But if it's like when did you start like se like seriously like reading a lot of books and stuff? Again, when, <laughs> when I was a child? Did I first start reading? When I was a small child. And I guess it never really stopped. Question number nine, where do you read? This one's a fun one because pre-lockdown I did most of my reading on the train. So read in my bed, you know, before I go to sleep I... I always read. I like reading in the morning while I'm sitting and drinking my coffee. I like reading outside. I like sitting outside reading. I really like going to a park or something, putting down a towel or a blanket and just sitting and reading when the weather is nice. I think at the moment, because I'm not getting a train anywhere, I mostly will read sitting outside or in bed. Question number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? I like to read anything except for horror because I don't like being scared. Like I do a significant amount of reading at night and I don't want to be scared before I go to bed. So I don't read horror. I, I read a lot of fantasy. When I was younger, especially, I read a lot of fantasy. I also, um, bit of like contemporary. I've dabbled in romance. I've read a few romance books this year. Not my favorite genre. I also like things that are gonna like raise some good questions about society and will make me think and I like to mix up those books with ones that are just fun. <laughs> Chaotic. Thank you for watching. If you watched this video, hopefully it's less of a mess than the last one. Still probably going to be somewhat of a chaotic mess because that's just the way it is. Thanks for watching. Bye. So even if you're not a booktuber and you have answers to any of the questions I asked or advice, even if you're just like a booktube viewer, comment because I would like the advice. Especially with Goodreads. I don't understand it. How does it work? How do I do it? Someone please help me. None of this makes sense. I need to go back and collect my train of thought and start again.